Hey, well, we're back here again. We've got another uh, short video for you on another one of these cases. Uh, this case here we're going to talk about is called Griswold versus Connecticut. It's kind of funny because the last case we did was New London, Connecticut. So this is a 1964 time period. Uh, the case is actually decided in 1965. Uh, citation is 381 U.S. 479. 1965, like I said. Now Griswold is actually a noted case and it precedes Roe versus Wade and a lot of times you don't hear much about Griswold but Griswold is interesting because it crafted for the first time uh, a new right in, in this uh, 20th century. Okay, and so it's important that we look at this because it's not really specifically mentioned in the Constitution, but what they did do is that they uh, recognized a zone, and in that zone we have the First Amendment, which is speech, uh, and then the Third which is part of, are basically our criminal rights. And then uh, the fourth, which basically here gets more into uh, a lot of our rights to, uh, you know, be in our homes and so forth and uh, this type thing. And then the ninth, and the ninth is the one that I really wanted to talk a little bit about because the Ninth Amendment, you almost never hear about the Ninth Amendment. Uh, it's very vague. It's kind of hard to be uh, understood uh, based on its own. But when, what they're saying is you've got to consider these four together, one, three, four, and nine. And what it creates, it creates a new right, which is the right uh, uh, to have a, a certain development of privacy uh, in your family. So uh, when we're talking about this right exactly, what we're saying is that it is uh, this right to a family to be, you know, have their own privacy. So it's a certain right to privacy Again, okay, so here again, we're talking about our little scales here, and this time what we're saying is, uh, this is uh, safety, public welfare, and this is freedom. So it's over in here that we're focusing, and they're saying on this particular case, your freedom of association, your right to privacy, these type things that are found in these amendments that I mentioned, first, third, fourth, and ninth indicate that you have this certain right, and it's a right to privacy in the marital relation. So uh, this is a right to privacy in your marital relation. So in other words, uh, in a marriage, if you decide, for example, that um, you want to uh, go to Planned Parenthood, and that's exactly what this was about, uh, basically instructing people on, um, you know, uh, birth control. And so what they're trying to do is help, uh, you know, families that weren't really ready to have children or want to limit the number of children that they have, help them achieve that. Well, what ended up, you know, happening is it's, uh, there was quite an argument on this. Uh, and so some people came down on the side of Connecticut. Uh, the others came um, uh, in agreement on this zone that taken all together, these constitutional rights taken together, uh, show that a family has a certain amount of uh, marital uh, privacy uh, within how they want to develop their family. And so they should have the right, if they want to involve themselves in uh, family planning and want to engage in uh, birth control, then they should have that right. Now, I've often said, and I think that you heard me say somewhere else, that this is like a precursor to Roe versus Wade, which came later. 
but this was a step uh, along that direction. And so uh, at this time, there were actually some places that kind of followed the Catholic Church's views and said, uh, no, 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 no birth control. Let nature take its course. Course, Whatever nature wants, nature will get. So uh, basically, uh, you need to stay out of it. So here again, interesting uh, number of people who uh, voted for it. Pretty strong, seven people in favor uh, and two against. So generally speaking, a pretty strong decision in favor of the right of the family to make these marital decisions. So uh, Griswold, not real easy to read here. I didn't write it too good. That's uh, Griswold. And so here again, what we're looking at here is that freedom won out in this particular one more so than the public welfare, general welfare, or safety. So uh, it's hard to understand how it's important for the government to nibble into uh, people's family life. And so that's why 7 to 2, they agreed that there should be uh, this fashioning of this new right called a right to privacy within the family. So look, the, look over that, tell us what you think in the forum, uh, and then uh, you can even research it, shepherdize it, see what you come up with, what comes after. Uh, in fact, right now, I'd more and more, I'd like to see you doing shepherdizing in order to get more engaged in, um, you know, understanding the before and after of these different cases. So, hey, I hope that you gained some good out of this. Um, I'll be in touch again with something new very soon. Thank you.